Who is she? No, really though. Welcome back to another vlog. Another vlogmas. Um, I feel like shit right now. Like, I don't know if I'm getting sick. I don't think so, but I just have this weird headache today. I just uploaded another one of my vlogmas videos, but I'm starving. And then me kind of feeling, I just don't feel that well. I feel like I got hit in the head. Like I just have this weird like migraine shit going on. I ripped out my lashes as you can see, well, whatever was left. There was literally like three strands on each eye. So I just, yeah, cause they were really pissing me off. But um, yeah, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna eat. Oh my god, I can't do this. I'm about to take an Advil or something. And to be honest, this vlog is probably gonna be another two day. I wanted to try this um, recipe. I don't even remember what the rest, I have to find it, but I'm pretty sure it was like an eggnog matcha. You know me, I like, I like trying new things. So I would make that like later on. I need to boil some tea. I need to take an Advil. I'm trying to stay away from the Advil because I'm very like anytime headache or cramps, I'm so quick to take one. If I don't take one, it gets worse. And also on that note, considering I'm feeling a little under the weather, I'm going to have some of the um, emergency. I could have definitely made a green juice earlier. I forgot I bought greens and lemon and lime. That would have definitely been. What I really want right now is some peppermint tea. I don't have any. I actually ran out. What's your guys' favorite tea to drink when you're like kind of feeling under the weather or you're feeling like you're about to be? Just when you're not feeling too good, especially like headaches. I'm someone that gets migraines. Um, not as often as before, but I get migraines and when I do, they're really bad. I have lemon ginger. I just showed you guys the other day the cinnamon apple chamomile. Organic chai, matcha mate grapefruit. This is like my morning green tea type of vibe. I had the nighty night one I told you guys about that helps me go to sleep on days that I'm up like an owl and can't sleep. Energy, I don't really drink this one anymore, but it is good. I've had these tea bags for a while. Okay, I don't know, y'all, I've had these for like two years now. I can't finish them. I don't like this. I don't know what I... I like cranberry juice, but cranberry tea is very, like, sour. And then I have my detox tea. Oh, I have honey lemon. I got these at Marshall's. I'm never buying these again. They just don't go with the aesthetic. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm so doing. For someone who's not feeling well, bitch, you are doing a lot. <laughs> but I have honey lemon. We're gonna do a lemon ginger. One thing I miss about living at home is whenever I wasn't feeling well, I would not even have to ask my grandmother to make soup. I'm so spoiled by her that she knows I don't eat chicken foot. So if she doesn't make chicken foot soup, she has to put like pieces of chicken in there because I don't eat chicken foot. Never have, never will, sorry. When you're grown, when you're grown, you have to get up and feed yourself, make yourself feel better. So I literally ran to Metro 10 minutes before closing, but we did it, we got some stuff. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little haul for what we're putting in our soup today. I tried to order groceries, but after a certain time, it's too late. So they all said I would've got my food by tomorrow morning. Um, I'm not waiting until tomorrow morning. So I picked up some chicken. Um, I'm kind of lazy to do this. I hate that you have to actually cut the chicken on the bone. Bear work. Like, chuck. But I got some thighs. Four thighs. Five drumsticks. And then I got some thyme. I love sweet potato and soup. So I picked up like six, seven pieces. Can't forget the scotch bonnet. Can't forget that. Um, and then I picked up... Lot God, I did not know which squash to pick up. I didn't see any pumpkin, but I didn't know which squash to pick up. 
There's three different types. There's butternut squash, then they had acorn squash, and then buttercup squash. So the acorn and buttercup are very identical, but for some reason I feel like I've seen this one in my mom's kitchen being used. Please tell me that I picked up the right one. Either way, it's going in the soup. Then I picked up some corn, because we already know the corn in the soup is a must-have. Some white flour. Then we have some yellow potatoes, which I picked up as well. I didn't know if I was supposed to pick up the yellow or the white. I usually buy yellow in general. And then I just picked up some carrots, of course. I was so sad because they didn't have no celery. I love celery in soup and no scallion, green onion. But um, I think I actually do have some scallion. I'm gonna check, but it's definitely not fresh, like super fresh, but I'm mad. I have no scallion. All right, guys, I'm about to start cooking. I'm on the phone. So we're just gonna start cooking. <laughs> I wanna let you know That you don't have to go Don't wonder no more What I think about you If it's nothing that you want You should make me your girl Hey guys, so I am about to go to the mall to do some last minute Christmas shopping. I'm upset with myself, but it's okay. Um, I was looking at some stuff online to get, and that is where the stuff is. I should have asked you guys some good recommendations for gifts for men. I was a little stressed, but I figured it out. So we're gonna go pick up this gift. Um, and then I'm also going to Sephora because I'm going to get some fragrances. I don't know if I'm going to get any for myself. They are having 20% off right now. And my baby is literally done. So I should probably take advantage. So we're just going to have a little shopping day. I actually have to come home and do some work and post a vlog. But I actually just had to reshoot some content for a sponsorship. So I don't know if my vlogmas is going up today. I was really trying to like post every day. But it's looking kind of shaky. But... 
I'm still gonna pat myself on the back for even being this consistent because I haven't been this consistent in a while. So, oh, give myself credit. But yeah, girl, I don't know if I'm gonna post a Vlogmas today. We'll see how the day goes. So we're gonna go to Yorkdale, we're gonna go to Hope Renfew, we're gonna go to Sephora, maybe re-up on that one. And this one's, it's like, oh, it's empty, girl. Okay, so I might have to buy this back today. Do you, can you see the inside? Yeah. She's empty. So this, you guys know, this is my favorite, um, like, special occasion fragrance. Listen, if you if you're seeing someone after the holidays and you still need to get them a gift, and they are like, you know, they like fragrance, this Jo Malone Marantanka girl, fire. My Hermes Twillies. Like, that's more summer, but yeah, even this like. The Alien Goddess Mugler. The amount of people I put this fragrance. What? The amount of people I put on to this fragrance is. I'm just so glad y'all like it. It's so good. Um, if you guys are wondering, I did already put on my fragrance for today. Um, Jazz Club Maison Margiela. Um, this is my like go-to everyday fall winter fragrance like errands chill vibe not trying to do too much but you still want to smell good had a little more but um yeah let's talk about this makeup because i mean i have not been okay first of all let's talk about my hair you guys so i did my edges after washing my face and my roots were just so just like i could can't see anything my hair has grown so much, which is why I love the braids. Like, I can't wait to get a trim and do a silk press. I don't know when, but... Anyways, what I did earlier was I just kind of wet my scalp with water. Then I came in here and slicked my edges with my edge booster. And then I did the mousse up here, like normal. But the contrast between the slick edges and the fuzzy roots was just so tragic that I was like, I just gotta put a little edge control on the roots. And they were actually more slick than this. They kinda, I didn't tie them down for long enough cause I just didn't really care, I'm going to the mall. But you guys, like the way. And so I did here and then obviously because I did here, I had to do here and then I had to do here. And then I had to do a little bit right here cause the comparison was just crazy. Um, and then I decided to just throw on a little bit of makeup. Originally, I was just trying to do, like, concealer, spot conceal, because, you know, I have, like, a, some redness and scarring and whatever. So I threw on... This is literally the most simplest makeup look I've ever done. Like, I'm usually such a full glam girl. Either I'm not wearing makeup or my face is beat. Like, there's no in between. So today I was just like, I don't want to do too much, but I do want to look... A little more put together I don't want to show like under eye bags or whatever so I literally when I tell y'all I barely filled in my brows I should have vlogged when I was doing my makeup but I didn't think it was I didn't think I was gonna like it like I actually like this there's some growth going on but I actually like this I literally only filled in here cuz it's sparse there for me and then here and then for the front, just like there and there, literally. And then I used concealer. And then I literally just went in with the littlest amount of concealer under my eyes. This and this. I mixed them because this is like my skin tone. I literally did like two little swatches under my eyes. And I didn't even use a sponge, y'all. I used my fingers to blend them out. I'm not wearing any foundation. I'm not wearing any primer. Then I put a little concealer on like my little scars. Then I used some, obviously, under eye powder to set the concealer. I'm, I have no makeup on my eyelids. I threw on a little mascara. And then I just, literally, for the rest of my face, I just used powder found. I'm not even, like, what? I've never been one of those girls to, like, lightly put powder foundation on, like, a bare face. Like, I've never been one of those girls that just know how to throw on a little light. No, I always say I'm going to throw on a little light makeup. And then I end up with... A full face and the fact that I have no y'all like never see me with no lashes with makeup because my lashes are always done but I'm like actually feeling this look like I don't know 
I just really like it. I don't know what's going on, girl. <laughs> but I'm, I'm here for it. Um, and I literally just threw on some little powder foundation for the rest of my face. A light bronzer on my cheeks and my nose. And then, of course, a little cream blush. A little light highlight. Some mascara. And some lip gloss. No. I like it. So anyways, I'm going to give you guys a little outfit of the day. Because my outfit's cute, too. I'm, like, super chill, like tomboy streetwear type of thing i'm literally wearing cargos and a graphic tee and sneakers but she's cute all right so here's my fit i just threw on this brooklyn um biggie graphic tee from urban outfitters these cargos again from zara and i have on my laser orange dunk lows this is literally my fit. I never dress like this. I'm always in heels and something tight. But I feel very comfortable, very cute. Ah! Lord Jesus, not my earring falling out. Where's the backing? That's all we care about. Oh, it's still on, it's still on the back of my ear. Hold on, you guys. If y'all want to know where my jewelry is from, um, hoop earrings are from Pretty Little Thing. Pretty Little Thing. Rings Lulu. Normally, I would not be able to leave my house without lashes. I mean, I have on mascara, but it's... I ain't really doing nothing. But I actually, like, I'm not mad at it. Like, I'm feeling it. <gasps> Who is she? No, really, though. I'm gonna throw on my black leather puffer from Zara. And then I'm just gonna wear... Because my sneakers have white in them. I'm gonna wear my Louis Vuitton Spring Street bag. So Plus, I'm wearing gold, so... So yeah, this is the look. Yeah, I just have to come back to show y'all the fit with the jacket because this is a look. I need to bring the zipper down, but this is the look. Look at it. Very fucking comfortable and I look cute. And most importantly, your girl's not gonna freeze her ass off. <laughs> Oh, Don't take no offense, but you're my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We was in Miami, Bahamas, Gucci, Valentino, baby, I could be your stylist. If you was a coach, you ride it like a biz do. I remember the first time I heard the song when I was taking in Meek Mill's album. I was like, ooh, this is a banger. So I finally made it through the traffic. Um, it wasn't. I have to be so bad. I peed right before I left, but I had coffee, and I drank it pretty fast, so I gotta pee again. Coming to this mall, I might just have to park. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I'm on. I, the way I have to pee, I'm parking here, and we're going through the bay. I was gonna park underground, but if you guys see like the, with the stop signs and stuff, nope. I'm not doing it because I'm gonna pee myself, not literally. But you know what I mean? Like, I really need to go to the bathroom. So, I ain't got time for all of that. But it took me about 30 minutes, which is not bad. I don't know if y'all can see, but like, look at the... This is where I was just coming from, and I turned into this parking lot. But do you see the stop sign to get to the underground parking, which is where that legend is in the middle? Fuck, I need to see that. Y'all hear my leg shaking? Holy fam! Not the Toronto slang jumping out. No track on because it's not going to fit, and I don't want to be walking around with an open purse. How much are the gold John Vito Rossi heels here? You gotta light a J. You gotta pump a J on this one. You can't even drink Cristal on this one. You gotta drink Cristal. Try some red wine, little guys. You're not This is for the grown and sexy.
and you know what I'm sitting on. 50 50 venture with the ass stops kicking off. Armadale popping now, only bring a nigga more. Only thing missing is the missus. You ain't even gotta do the dishes. Got two dishwashers, got one chef, one maid. All I need is a plot and a play space with the cards up. All trust. Who else you gonna run with? The truth is us. Only dudes moving units and pimp juice and us. It's the rockin' hair. Maybach outside, got rocks in air. PJs on the runway, young got air. I don't land at an airport, I call it the clear port. Therefore, I don't wanna hear more. Back and forth about who's hottest, young holla. Just like the Bottega cassette bag, literally. I actually think this quality, it looks more, the leather looks a lot stronger. It looks like this. Look, you guys. I think the Bottega cassette bags are like, I think they're like 4,000. Literally 70% off. 417. Okay. I actually really I if I have done enough shopping for today, but look at that. Also really spacious in there. Ooh, and there's a little wallet. As you can see, we had a very successful shopping day. Very successful. I'm drained. I'm tired, y'all. That's what a bed. Finally wrapped uh, what else, whatever else needed to be wrapped. I even put my own gifts under there. Y'all saw me shopping. Now we finally have some gifts under the tree. Well, not some. <laughs> we got a couple of gifts under the tree. Um, I did pretty much all my shopping today. Everything worked out perfectly. Um, yeah, because I already knew everything I was getting. Um, but as you can tell, I definitely was not... Um, <laughs> feeling to wrap any gifts this year, which is fine because I have gift bags, all the Holt Renfu and Saks bags and the Webster bag. I mean, they they all look like gifts anyways, nothing too crazy. They're going in the garbage anyways, and this is just like immediate family and loved ones, so I know they're not really going to care. got the cutest bag for Mia. You guys, I got her this princess gift bag. She clearly has the nicest bag out of everyone. It's really the fact that the biggest bag under there is for myself, that I got myself. Energy. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. I'll put the giveaway, so I don't know what I'm going to give away right now, and I'm so tired. I'm going to just plug it in somewhere throughout this video. But it's either going to be a Zara gift card, Amazon gift card, um, some skincare, or a pack of makeup stuff. Like a big makeup or skincare stash. 
if it is like a skincare or makeup stash while I'm editing I will make sure to plug it in here so y'all know what the gift entails but yeah and also someone commented and was like loved this entire vlog from start to finish and then tagged their Instagram for the giveaway and I was just like girl how did you watch a 33 minute vlog in four minutes so for this vlog I want y'all to tell me how many pair of heels I'm gonna have to go back and check myself how many pair of heels did I try on today um, when I was shopping and then leave your Instagram name <laughs> and then I'm gonna pick a winner from that but um, yeah my tree's cute she's a little skimpy but y'all is good enough for me okay cuz I wasn't even gonna put up my tree this year 